G'day there Guardians, it is Xur time in Destiny 2 and you can see here I'm on Io and Xur is as well, spawn into Giant Scar, you can see my little marker there and away we go. If you haven't figured it out yet, Xur is always going to appear on the same planet that we have the uh, Flashpoint. So, when you spawn in, in Giant Scar, we just come in here, go straight underneath I hear this little tunnel here and he's over here on the left in the cave if you didn't see him last time he was here just in here and let's see what he brought with him this week go away Sparrow right, Zer what do you have mate? Ooh, he has the Darcy the Darcy is a sniper rifle you can see there with personal assistant it being the intrinsic exotic perk uh, personal assistant uh, um, gives you when you aim at an enemy you can view its health and other critical information in the scope target acquired when personal assistant is active this weapon has better target acquisition Deals more precision damage, so getting headshots or precision shots on Vex uh, and those chest markers. Short action stock gives you increased handling. Extended mag means you've got a bigger magazine size, but you uh, don't reload as quickly. And of course, extended barrel uh, gives you increased range, but decreases handling speed. So a decrease to handling speed, an increase to handling speed overall is a bit of an increase. And we have the weapon attack mod here with the arc damage, Darcy. What else have we got here? We have 29 legendary shards for that one, by the way. The knucklehead radar for the hunter, uh, 23 legendary shards. Upgraded sensor pack provides radar while aiming. It's the old third eye perk when you aim down sights. You've still got your radar, although third eye... Um, used to be predominantly for um, our primaries this one on the other hand gives you so knucklehead radar you used to have it for primaries this one looks like all weapons uh, now we've got increased resilience or increased health recovery with an impact absorption mod for your helmet it gives you increased resilience not a bad helmet that one but you know not the world's greatest helmet, although if you're a big fan of your radar, and I am, uh, that might be one that you would wear if you're a hunt hunter. Personally, not going to be my number one choice. Actium War Rig for the Titan class. Now, this is actually quite a good exotic, uh, especially if you like running your auto rifles with 23 legendary shards. Auto Loading Link steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles magazine from reserves. So if you're running, say, a sweet business with 99 rounds, as you fire, it's auto reloading portion of that magazine. So you basically keep getting uh, a top up in your magazine as you fire. We've got Power Munition Loader, uh, which gives you uh, increased weapon reload speed on your power weapon. We've got Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Increased Resilience or Increased Recovery. So you can see down there what the change would be if we were to change those. Obviously massive increase in recovery and a reduction in resilience. <clears throat> Not a bad one for the Titans if you like running auto rifles. And finally, Eye of Another World, which I will definitely be getting because I do not have this. My Warlock seems to not get any exotics. Um, Cerebral Uplink here, yeah, 23 legendary shards again. Cerebral Uplink uh, highlights targ priority targets, improves the regen of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. That's a pretty cool perk. Uh, always handy one getting your abilities back. It's basically a Paragon mod built into your Cerebral Uplink Eye of Another World helmet. With an impact absorption mod, again, this one boosts your resilience. We've got mobility or health recovery perk increases here. Obviously no resilience, so the impact absorption mod is quite a handy one because it gives you one of all of the three there. Mobility, resilience, and recovery. Certainly one worth picking up. He's down in Giant Scar on Io. 
spawn in at Giant Scar, go straight underneath this little tunnel here, just in front of you to the right, swing around on the left in the pathway, there's a cave up on the side, and Zer will be right there in front of you. I hope you got something out of this video, Guardians. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on Twitch, Twitter, and on Instagram, BoilerRoom81. Thanks for watching, Guardians. I'll see you next time.